do any of the works stick out from the rest of your works as being like either a peak of your achievement or something that signaled some form of breakthrough? Um, I think that Girl Talk and Average Users really did. Um, they were a departure from what I usually do, which is more abstract work. And early on in the process, um, they kind of led the led the uh, led the way for how the rest of the exhibit was going to come together. Okay, yeah. and I noticed like you have uh, most of the work is figurative portraiture, I would call it, but you do have some abstraction in the show. Uh, is that that means that's the older work? The abstractions or not necessarily older, um, but it's it's something I'm more comfortable with. Uh, I've worked in abstraction for quite some time, so like I feel like uh, this work is different because it's it's evolved from what I used to do. Right. Yeah. Um, do you since since the figurative piece almost has a built-in narrative to it? Do you do you have a different uh, mental uh, mental or narrative outlook towards your abstract work uh, as you bring to your figurative work? Is there a different approach that you take mentally to do the work? I think I attack the canvas the same way, um, which is kind of an additive, subtractive kind of approach where I'll start painting and then scrape something off or, or white it out or that kind of thing. Um, and I, I do the same thing with both uh, figurative and uh, abstract. Um, yeah. Um, these, the figurative work or the portraits, are they people you know, or is it half people you know? Is it people that you've just made up in your head? Um, well, I was kind of playing on the theme of copying or uh, uh, piracy in the, in the sense that I was stealing these images and then reproducing them uh, in a different context. Um, so it's mostly people that I've either found in magazines or books or online or that kind of thing. Okay, and you've never done portraits of either yourself or of uh, people you know? I have done, yeah, actually there's, there's one painting in the show uh, called Renee, and uh, she's a friend uh, from Saskatchewan who uh, I painted for the show. Oh, cool. Uh, and who would you say your influences are and why? Um, well, in the street art world, I would say like Retina, um, uh, Mike Giant, uh, a lot of them, <laughs> but I follow I follow them through various means, and uh, they do influence how I approach my work, uh, how I want the end product to seem, um, and then also like I I will randomly pick up on some uh, maybe ancient or kind of uh, last century artist kind of thing, and and be inspired by them as well. Can you name any of the ones from like the older artists like that have stuck out in your mind? Um, <coughs> when I was a kid, I, re I was really into Van Gogh. Um, I loved the texture and the, that kind of stuff. And uh, I don't know, I like a lot of the Keith Haring, um, that era, Basque era kind right. of stuff. All right. Um, uh, you do uh, more than just painting. I believe you do also graphic work and, uh, and music. Um, anything else? And in terms of a multidisciplinary artist, and, and uh, why do you choose to do that? I think I can express myself best when I choose as many avenues as I feel comfortable with. Like, I try to not spread myself thin, but uh, really immerse myself in the project and, and the theme or, or the concept in, any, uh, in every possible medium that I can approach. So. And what other mediums do you do? I know you do music, but what else? Yeah, I write electronic music. Uh, I do a lot of graphic design. Um, uh, those are those are the main three: painting, music, and graphic design. Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, you mentioned um, that you consider yourself a professional artist since two thousand and five. I believe you said was that two thousand five. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And what what would you say is the difference then that would call you a professional artist at 2005 to when to the time before that? Like, what would what what's the difference in your approach? I think it had to do with um, a state of mind. Really, I was really more um, I was more sure of myself as an artist, and I felt like it's something that I could pursue as a as a career and. Um, 
Yeah, it's a tough one. <laughs> um, yeah, and also, I mean, that's when I started showing my work okay. at galleries. And, uh, so you made like a determined effort to show, I mean, calling yourself professional artist, then you made a determined effort to show your work on a more regular basis? Right, yeah, yeah. I think before that, I was kind of just experimenting, and I wasn't too sure of myself as an artist, but I kind of started developing my own style at that age. Uh, have you been applying for grants or receiving grants too? Yeah, I have been for, uh, from uh, Manitoba Arts Council. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, you mentioned that uh, you, um, some of the work has sprung from your bouts with both drug addiction and mental depression issues. Uh, and I was wondering with how, how you've dealt with that in your work. Um, I mean, in the past, I have had a couple uh, solo exhibits that kind of focused on that as a subject. Um, and I think now it's more, it, I don't have to attack it as heavily, although that's kind of a project that I'd like to do in the future. But I don't have to approach it as a subject. I don't know how to say it really. It's something that I get out of by painting. Like mm. if I'm feeling troubled, I paint and it clears my mind. So I, I don't feel the need to um, try to describe it in the way that I used to. I, I think I can come at it from a different angle now. So, so turning to art was one of the methods you used to overcome these problems or to deal with them? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and uh, uh, I did a residency at uh, Artbeat Studio where um, I learned a lot about uh, healing through art and that kind of stuff. So. It was really good there. Uh, and what uh, I noticed that you obviously there's aerosol in these shows. What can you just say all the different mediums that you use? And uh, it seems like a lot of your paintings are mixed media. Yeah. Uh, what can you just name like a list of some of the mediums? Um, basically, I look through uh, graffiti uh, tool or graffiti medium catalog kind of stuff online, um, and I just pick random stuff, so I've used ink markers, uh, paint sticks, uh, spray cans, I use a lot of Sharpie oil paints, um, just a bit of everything and I, I try new stuff and if I don't like it then I don't buy it again and if I do like it I keep... But in this show there's like a lot of the works have like more than one medium in it. Yeah, right? yeah, I, well for sure three more, three or more kind of thing for the show. So. Uh, and do you have a history at all with the graffiti gallery, or is, uh, if if so, what is the history? Um, I used to come here a lot uh, for inner city images. Um, it was a photography program, so we got to go in the dark room and process images and stuff. I uh, also did some volunteer work. Um, yeah, so I have fond memories of this place, so it's really fun to show you. <laughs>